Hello everyone, uh, my name is Rahul and welcome to my channel Rahul QA Labs. So in today's video, uh, we will see how we can read the data from a delimited file and how we can display that data onto a console or how to get that data into a uh, file, Excel file, right? Okay, so uh, the component that uh, we will be dealing with uh, will be called as the T uh, file input delimited right and uh, the output component that we will be dealing with is t log row or uh, if you want to get that into a file so we will use a component as t file output delimited right so these are the steps uh, that i have mentioned out here i'll put these steps uh, in the description of the video as well so uh, you all can go through that so the steps are simple actually uh, so just we have to launch the talent studio and we have to take the respected component t file input delimited then we need to open the settings for that and we need to choose uh, the delimited file so for this you need a delimited file from which uh, the component can read the data so uh, for that i have created you know uh, you know an optional uh, sample file called as employee.txt uh, in that file, I have given, you know, the four values or the four columns out here, uh, respectively ID, name, age, and city. And these are the four rows. So this is my delimited file that I'll be using into uh, my component, right? And uh, apart from that, and you have to, if you want to provide uh, the header and all those things uh, that we will see in a couple of time. So these are the uh, simple steps editing the schema and click on OK and then for you know the log row and the output file uh, delimited we have these steps like selecting the component and uh, dropping it to the designer configuring the component properties and running the job right so uh, let's go to our uh, talent studio and uh, try to create this particular job so this is our talent studio and um, I have created a folder out here read FL FL means file so whatever uh, jobs that we create for the file uh, we can use so right click on this and click on create a job now the name you can give as per your convenience so uh, I will give the name as input file delimited right and uh, description I will say like read the input file and display the output on console or file you will see both the options right so uh, that is the name we have given in description that is again optional if you want to you can give otherwise you can skip click on finish so this is the designer that we have now uh, one by one let's pull the component so the very first component that we saw is uh, we need a file input delimited component right so on the on the right hand side you will see this component here t file input delimited so it is appearing in my recently used uh, otherwise you can go you know to the file file options and input and uh, t file input delimited from here also you can take this component and uh, similarly for output so this is the output so t file uh, where it is t file output delimited right so from here also you can take uh, so since I have uh, searched this components already so it is appearing in my recently used so let's take this component t file input delimited right now click on this component so here you will see all these settings so there are different settings uh, that we need to do to configure the particular component now uh, property type and uh, you know the schema so property type let it be inbuilt repository we cannot take because we have not configured any of the connections you know out here in the metadata so uh, we'll see those uh, configurations in later videos so as of now we are selecting uh, the property type as built-in properties now schema also built-in uh, you have to click on edit schema right so click on the edit schema and now so your file contains you know four columns right id name age and city so these columns you have to map so for that we need to define the schema so let's do that id um, you can select as you know integer <coughs> then we have the name 
name is fine string uh, then we have uh, age age is obviously a number so you can take it as you know integer and last one is the I guess city right yeah so last one is the city <clears throat> okay so this is fine this is also string so now uh, click on okay right so your schema is set up now you need to select the file the file which this particular uh, job will read now this is your file that is the employee.txt file right and uh, so from the three dots click on this three dots and it will take you to that particular location so select this file employees.txt and click on open so this is the path that we have given out here uh, from which it will read the data now uh, row separator so row separator means uh, so these are your rows right so these are separated by a new line character right or you know you can say slash n so that is why we will give here a slash n now field separator is is there any separator between the field yes so the it is delimited by you know a bar right so instead of uh, you know uh, colon you have to give a bar here so this is the bar field separator now header and footer options so header you have your file has a header right so first row is a header so you can give header as one and a footer we don't have any footers so leave it like that now limit is something means uh, if you want to read a particular amount of rows say uh, for example i here i have you know 1000 rows now i only want to read some 50 or 100 so that limit you can define so it will read only those uh, uh, limited rows whatever you have defined here so that is the use of a uh, that is the use of this particular limit thing uh, there are three options out here like skip empty rows, you know, uncompress a zip file and die on error. So these are options if you want, you can select, otherwise you can skip, right? So we have configured our uh, <coughs> um, the file input delim delimited component. Now what we will do is we will output these details, which details? These details onto the console. So for that we need a component that is called as a T log row, right? So it see here displays the flow content on the run job console. So this is your run job. So here itself it will display whatever the data is inputted in the file. So let's take this component, right? So now we need to join these two components. So row and click on main. Now, when you click on this component, so here uh, you have to do some kind of setting. Now, schema. So, you can define your schema or you can sync the columns. So, if you click on edit schema, so it has already synced the columns, right? So, that is fine. So, I want all these columns to get displayed on the console. If you do not want any of it, you can, you know, remove that particular thing or you can edit as per your requirement. So I am not doing anything. All the four columns I need it on the output. So click on OK. <coughs> now uh, there are three basically modes are there. So modes represent how your data will be displayed on the console. So one is called as the basic mode. One is the table. So in the form of table it will be displayed to you. Third one is the vertical. So each row in a key value list. Right. So we will see all these three options one by one. And uh, as of now let me select as a basic option. Now field separator is the bar, right? So this is our field separator. Now coming to the below options, uh, print header, print component, unique name in front row, all these settings. So uh, as of now, I'll just select as a print header. So now my both the components are configured, right? Now let us try to run this job and see uh, if we are able to get a desired output or not. So click on run. It is building the job. All right. So if you see here, the job started, connected, and this is your data. Right. So let's match our data out here. So, right. So what we have out here is ID, name, age, city. Uh, one, two, three, four. All these. Data. So it has printed all the details on the console. Right. So this is what we were trying to achieve. We read a delimited file, a delimited uh, text file, and displayed it on the console. Now, uh, I was talking about two other, you know, modes. So, 
let's try this table mode right so in table mode you should get your output in the form of a table so again you know um, run the job and see here so the output has changed so it means your mode has changed from basic it has given you the output in the form of a table so this is the you know difference between that mode actually now coming to the last one vertical <coughs> when you select vertical there will be three options present out here so title printing mode so first is print unique name second one is print label third one is print unique name and label right so as of now let's select this print unique name and try to build the job right so you see here so it has shown you the output one by one one by one means uh, so this is a one record right so id one the name rahul then age then delhi then again the second row then the third row and then the fourth row so this is the difference between uh, you know selection of the modes now if you select the second one in the vertical if you select as you know the print label let's see what happens let's try to build the job okay so you see here so it looks almost similar right now let's try the third uh, option we have out here that is print unique name and label try to build the job and uh, it has you know uh, given you the similar thing so something has changed on the label if you see here t log row 1 t log row 1 then t log row 1 t log row 1 then all these details right so this is how your output will look like when you use the three options present out here so just it is the difference on the uh, how you are displaying the data that's all so i think the modes are clear right so basic table and vertical <coughs> right so we have achieved our uh, you know target so we were trying to read the data from the file and putting it output on the console and we have got the output so i think that's it uh, for the first part now the second part what we were talking about is um, t output file delimited right so t log row we have seen now we will see the t file output delimited now here what will happen is we have to choose a different component so let's delete this component and uh, let's select this t output file delimited now here what will happen is in the earlier uh, scenario your uh, file uh, whatever the data was in the file that was getting displayed on the console here this will generate an output file and will put that data this data into that file right in the delimited, delimited manner so for that we need the component as t file output delimited now let's try to connect this okay so we are not changing anything here this will remain the same this is the new component that we have added so uh, let's see the settings out here so file name so this is the file name and this is the location where it will be giving you that file right so you want to change the name you can change the name right like uh, file test delim.csv okay again the row separator you know will be a slash n so uh, it will be uh, giving you in the next line all the different different rows and field separator so whatever field separator you want you want uh, you know a colon so uh, sorry semicolon so that uh, will be given you as a field separator otherwise if you want suppose this bar so it will give you the bar right and again these three options like um, uh, you want to append the data one after the another or if you want to include the header third one is compressing as a zip file so it will give you the output in a zip file or the file that we will be getting it will zip it and it will place it in this particular location right so let's uh, select this option include header and after that we will see this compress as zip file as well right now uh, edit schema let's check what is there in the schema so it has already taken these values so the values are synced and whatever is present in the source file that you will get in the output file as well right 
so click on ok now let's try to run our job okay so we have not received any kind of errors that means the job is successful now let's go to that particular location which location this location and let's see whether our file is created or not with the name file test delim so we have our file file test delim open this file and you should see your data all right so if you see here exactly it matches like the input data right with the same delimiter because you have given or configured that particular delimiter suppose if you uh, change to again you know uh, uh, this one the semicolon right and let's close this and let's delete this file okay so now you should see the uh, semicolon in the file so let's try to build the job the job is running and it is successful you will get your file out here click on the file and open it and you have got this time the semicolon so this is what is the difference now the one last option pending is the zip one so if you go here click on compress as a zip file close this file delete this file so why I'm closing and deleting this file is sometimes it throws an error like the file is in use and so it is not able to you know process the job and you will get some error out here right so now let's try to build the run the job again job is running and you will have a zip file this time okay so if you see here it has created a zip file so when we extract this file right this is your file and if you open the file you will see the same data out here right so yeah so this is uh, today's uh, accomplishment and uh, this is how you can read the data input from the input delimited file and you can uh, display it on the console or in a output delimited file so that's it for uh, today's video uh, we will meet in next video with some uh, uh, different and um, uh, fruitful topics so till then uh, keep learning thank you bye bye